Hello again. I'm here with uh, another video. This time um, I want to talk about the principle of work and energy. Specifically, I want to talk about conservation of energy. Uh, and here we want to find the speed of uh, this slider as it goes uh, through this uh, or along this uh, curved rod. So what's given in this problem, uh, we have this slider whose weight is equal to two pounds. So given that the weight of this slider is two pounds. So remember mass would be two divided by 32.2. At point A, right here, if the slider is here, at A, it has speed of five feet per second, let's say. And we are neglecting friction, so no friction. And as you could see, there is no external force acting on this guy. Therefore, the system is conservative, so we can use conservation of energy. So remember that conservative forces are what? The force of gravity and force of a spring. If there is a friction in a problem or an external force, the system is not conservative. So here I can use conservation of energy concept. So what we want to determine is the speed of this slider. So let's say it starts here at this position, right? So the spring is here, and then as it passes position B right here, what would be the speed of, find the speed at position B. So we can call this actually one and two, A is one, B is two, if you want to use that. But we are also told that besides the fact that the K value, the stiffness of the spring is 10 pounds per foot, also uh, it has an undeformed length of two feet. So the undeformed length of uh, length of a spring is two feet so that way we can determine how much it's deformed at different position so apply the conservation of energy uh, basically conservation of energy is, says that the, the sum of uh, potential energy and kinetic energy at position one is equal to sum of the potential and kinetic energy at position two or energy is con constant or conser conserved Okay, so I'm going to use the subscript A and B. So I say start with kinetic energy of A plus potential energy of A. So this would be a total energy at A equal kinetic energy at B plus potential energy at B. Okay, so kinetic energy at A is one half mass of A, velocity of A squared plus potential energy is due to gravity. So we do W times HA and due to spring would be one half KSA squared. And I have exactly the same terms on the right hand side uh, using subscript B. So WHB and plus one half KSB squared. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug in the information. But before we do that actually, uh, depending on where you wanna pick your reference, if you pick your reference right here at A, so this is our reference. Then H sub A would be zero. And when the object goes to point B, H sub B would be four and a half feet, as you can see below. So that would be a negative. Also, we have to figure out how much deformation we have at position one and two, position A and position B, in other words. So uh, let me actually move this guy a little bit to the right, to the left. It, had, it has moved a little bit, sorry guys. Um, but anyways, um, now I'm going to say, okay, what is SA? So you look at the length of this spring at A. It's 4.5 and the undeformed length is two. So 4.5 minus two is 2.5. So it is a stretch by two and a half feet. And the uh, the formation of the spring at position of B, when it passes B, it's gonna be, look at the length of the spring would be three, as you could see in the picture, minus the undeformed length, so it would be one foot. So this is now just a simple plug-in, so one half. Be careful now, mass is two divided by 32.2, times velocity of A, which is given to be five feet per second squared. H sub A is zero, so that term is gone, plus one half K, K value, as you could see in the picture, is 10 pound per foot. S sub A is 2.5 squared. 
that takes care of the left hand side, right hand side, one half again, mass, two divided by 32.2. Velocity of B is unknown, that's what we're trying to find. The weight is two pounds. H is minus 4.5, and then I'm running out of space, so I'll put the one half K S sub B, which is one squared over here. So just do the math and solve for velocity of B. Velocity of B happens to be about 34.1 if you round it feet per second. Now, right after this video, uh, I will make another video for you that will show you how you can actually find when this guy passes position B, how we could find the normal force exerted by the, um, the, the rod on this slider and also the rate of change of uh, speed. So that requires actually using this velocity value and um, also apply the equation of motion in normal and tangential uh, directions. So I'm gonna leave this video and then immediately I'm gonna make another video with that uh, information in terms of calculating the normal force and the rate of change of speed. Thank, thanks for uh, watching and listening.